Well, this game has gotten interesting around it a little bit. So my exposure to Robocraft in the past is that it's some kind of battle royale combat game thing with robots where the gimmick was that you could build the robots yourself via like chunks and pieces and so on. Uh, Wanderbot liked it, a few other people in the group were like playing it together. I bounced off it pretty hard, I wasn't particularly into it, I didn't really like the much about the, uh, the building process and like, I don't know, something about the building special toy robots and like expressing yourself via that doesn't quite mix with when you're fighting people that seem to have like optimal design robots essentially and it's like, oh great, so just win, just make the correct one and everything. Uh, but it was a battle royale game that that was around before specifically, or at least, it, at least some people call it a battle royale game or something, but it, it predates PUBG and the spike of some of these games, I suppose. But now they seem to have just put out a game that they call Royale, and this the narrative here has been weird, so they seem to be trying to go after the popularity of PUBG and Fortnite and stuff like that by making a 100 player versus mode game. They put it out, it cost money originally, but just like this other day I got an email saying, hey, from Steam saying, hey, we just refunded everybody who, who bought this game, regardless of how much they played for it. Because I, I guess the developers, because of how this was, how well the game was doing, which was not, I don't think it was doing well at all, it has mostly negative reviews on Steam, they decided to make the game free to play and refund literally everyone who ever paid for it in the first place, which is interesting. Uh, I got the email, but I didn't actually get money off of it because I, I got a press code for this back when it was a game you'd actually pay for. Uh, which was very recent. I just got the code recently. Uh, so it's been weird, but it's called Robocraft because you craft robots. But you don't craft them in this game. As far as I've heard, you actually just pick pre-made robots or something. It's an incredibly... everything about this product is very... odd, looking at it from the outside. And I haven't even played it myself yet. Oh, I should have hit matchmaking right away. I thought I was gonna pick a robot or design one or do make some choice, but the first button you press is matchmaking. I should have pressed that immediately because it might take a long time to matchmake uh, for enough players. Well, we can look at some of this stuff. During the drop sequence, I can move with just normal way, basically. Okay, so spacebar is some kind of thrusters thing. You move with WASD, you look with the mouse, left and right, left click is shoot, right click is zoom. You can get in and out of your robot with E, I didn't know you could even get out of it. Reload is R, that's pretty natural. Repair is, so there's, you have three different weapons equipped and then you have your repair button is four apparently. F flips it. Welcome, to, uh, thank you for downloading. Robocraft Royale, and everyone that participated in the alpha phase of our development. The game is in early access, so please expect some glitches and kindly report errors to us uh, via our forums. We are really excited for the next phases of Royale's development, in particular the team gameplay update and the performance upgrades. Read below the uh, for the out upcoming features. Huh. We're really getting, we're, we're actually, we're going a while here, huh, aren't we? So I wonder, I wonder if it was ever announced in advance that they were going to make it free to play later or not, uh, once the alpha was over. I, I'm guessing that's that was never a plan, because they refunded people who paid for it, so it's not like, it's not like Fortnite. Because Fortnite is a game that was in development for like, practically a decade, it was a super long time. Uh, I wrote an art, a dumb little article about Fortnite's, when I was, I was trying to analyze its, uh, its original trailer. Like, way back when I was first doing videos, basically, like, that's so long ago, and it's wiped out of existence at this point. But that was, like, 2011 or 12 or something. And it came out, and it was just so bad. Fortnite is a terrible product, as far as, like, it's just... There's nothing to have fun with. It's just a 5,000 Skinner's boxes, and that's it. But then... PUBG was popular, and they were like, What if we just made a Battle Royale mode that was free to play for Fortnite? And they just did that? Even though the Fortnite, like, they were already in, like, a weird alpha beta thing where you could pay money to play Fortnite early, a game that's supposed to eventually be free to play, which is why it has 5,000 microtransactions and loot boxes and shit in it, with all of its Skinner box crap. But you could play to get into it early, you could pay for it, and 
even though there's a premium campaign mode, now ever now it's like the biggest game in the world practically, but only for its battle royale mode, which is free, which is completely separate from the main product. And I'm like, this it, that's been a weird story. Watching all these games try to put out <coughs> all these different uh, companies try to put out battle royale games has been the most bizarre journey of like people chasing just chasing after this profit in the craziest way like robocraft makes this spin-off that it apparently just is infuriating people if you look at the the mostly negative steam reviews you're like oh geez what have you done to your community i'm oh no and then fortnite gets massive positive press because it manages to make a super popular mode when it was actually a game that no one gave a shit about because as far as i could tell fortnite was already dying in its um, in its natural state, the uh, the actual game they hit, were planning on putting out that was that was supposed to be in beta and being worked on, which at this point, I don't know how many people would even care if they just deleted that old it's like stopped supporting that and got rid of it and just made it a battle royale game because it seems to be that any all that anyone plays it for. It's funny because I pointed and laughed at it because it was like, ha, look at this, they're just ripping off PUBG. Look how blatant it is. And now. Uh, probably one of my most hated videos on YouTube because uh, turns out the game is doing really well now. Funny that at the time I was like, look at this, this is dumb. And to be fair, it's still it's still really embarrassing how blatant they, they were about ripping off PUBG. They didn't make their own, they weren't really doing their own thing. They were so unconfident in many of the things that they wouldn't even stick to their own interface from the main game. They instead went to the interface from PUBG that's separate from the interface they use in their main game and it's so it's so blatant it hurts it hurts because i was psyched about the game for so long and just it's just disappointing to be into something that long and hope it was going to turn out and oh my goodness the matchmaking for this i guess i'll see you guys later hey we're getting there kind of gave up along the way uh, it just eventually was like, you know what? Fine. We'll start a game <laughs> uh, It actually peaked around 40 players, but then not all of them joined in the secondary screen where more people join I guess Oh, yeah, this is familiar ain't it? Wait, that doesn't seem very big Does it? Hey there Can I see the other robots jumping out? Oh, yeah, there they go. I think those are the players So there's 36 players to go that everyone jumping out? Yeah. How many people have jumped out so far? Can I, like, wait for as many of them to go as possible? When was I supposed to pick my ship? That's what I'm kind of wondering. I don't know. Oh well, let's go that way. So thrusters can keep you up for longer, it looks like. I'm just going to go for this radio tower for no particular reason, I guess. I have no idea how this is going to feel to play. It's uh, definitely not going to be up to my stealth te uh, antics that I do in PUBG when I used to play it. Back when I had friends that wanted to play it still and I wasn't the only lone person that really cared about the game. <laughs> Do you get loot in this game, I assume? Oh yeah, there's something. Hope there's not someone right here to kill me immediately, so I have to start... Oh god, if I died immediately, it'd be so hard... Uh, wrenching to start over again. Oh, the robots are in... Oh... The robots are in the map. I gotcha. So we play as a crappy drone weird thing, and then we go land and try to get a robot to play as. Is that a dude? That was a dude right there? At the beginning? I can't- I don't know how to fly this thing. Oh, I have like- I have like a drone or something? This is weird. The controls of this thing are so confusing. I don't know. 
I'm, I'm somewhat amused by the idea of everyone having a different vehicle. So you can't strafe in this thing. You have to drift, basically fly straight. It was really weird. Funny to be an airborne guy fighting against some poopy foot soldiery looking guy. I can't, I cannot maneuver this thing. Oh, first person. I can turn invisible, apparently. Oh, oh wow, like six people are dead already. I guess the skull is how many kills I have. Where is he now? Oh, I used up my ammo. Oh, he's a weird chicken thing now. Oh, I have to manually reload. I can't play. How do I steer this thing? Wee. I'm fucked. All right. So I can re I can repair with four, but in order to do that, I need to have a repair thing. He changed robots, I guess. Do I have a thruster? I wish there was. I wish there was on-screen control tutorials like Monster Hunter. I feel like I feel like it makes sense. I feel like I'm playing a, like some sort of weird old Lego helicopter game or something. Huh. I guess like a third of the players are dead already. I wish there was an on-screen tutorial telling you what buttons do what, like in, yeah, like in Monster Hunter, basically, because there's all those complex controls that change based on what weapon you're using. I can't even figure out how to move. <laughs> Did he not have a gun at first or something? Because he wasn't fighting back, but then he started fighting back. I have no idea how durable he may or may not have been at that point. Is that my own vehicle's sound? Oh, those are the sounds of these items being nearby. I'll play as a weird spider walker. Okay, so, okay, so he repaired. Because when you become a new robot, you have full health again. Okay, the blue zone is... Exp there's, the blue zone's here just like the other game. Alright, well this will be a more intuitive character to play as, at least. It's on the ground. Well, that's a hell of a jump. That's a fu this is a fun idea. The wacky robot things. I'm not against this idea. Go try to in instead of getting a weapon, you inhabit a weird robot. Where's the... Oh, I'm already inside the zone, so I'm kind of safe already. Okay. Ooh. Neat. I wonder if there's multi... Like, uh, co-op team things? It'd be fun to have, like, a squad a little bit. Something's over there. You repair with four, but I don't know how to find a repair. I mean, I guess I do know how to find it. You just have to find it with your eyeballs. Okay, I'm just gonna die immediately, apparently. Good to know. Alright. That was fun. <laughs> I died so fast. Oh, that was a long wait for that match. So if you're playing this, this is like your day, right? You just like slowly wait. Hmm. I'll at least give it another go. Oh, 33 people this time. All right. Hello, weird space space thing. Typhonian Canyon. Oh, that's where I was last time, so let's just jump out over here. How do I jump again? Wait, let me out. Let me out. Wasn't it space bar last time? I wanna go over there. There we go. I'm gonna fucking land in the Thunderdome. Hello, other player. I guess. Oh wow, that's every player. I think every player wants to go to Thunderdome. This is gonna be a short video. <laughs> I am not waiting for that time again today. It's late. 
<laughs> I gotta, I just gotta be honest about that with myself. That's a long, that's a really long timer. It takes a long time for games to start in this game. I, I can't do that again. Are there any other drones around here? Ooh, get that one on top. Fuck it, I'm going for that one. Nothing else matters. Oh, it's a Starship Enterprise, kind of. Is it, wait, is this Star Trek Discovery? But with a propeller? Pew, pew, I'm fighting an, uh, a, a meme. Great. Thanks, it's an emoji. What the fuck? Am I fighting a propeller emoji? How do I shoot the second one? I can't figure out how to shoot guns that aren't one. Oh wait, no. I have to reload, I think. No, I can't figure out how to shoot gun two. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just impossible, apparently. In fact, I can't reload any- Oh, I don't have reloads. Period. You wow, you just run out of reloads in this game. Okay. That's interesting. How do I go down? I need to go down. Please tell me the controls on the screen. It would just be really nice if you told me the controls on the screen. I can't go down. There's a thing below me and I can't figure out how to go down. That sucks. <laughs> Being... You've just been... Alright. I think I'm done. All that waiting and the... This What? <laughs> I... Huh. I like the idea of, pl of like jumping in wacky robots and fighting each other potentially in a battle royale, but I, I don't want to put up with that matchmaking time. I don't want to put up with disconnects, and I want to know how to play the controls. And like, even this doesn't tell me what I need to know. How do I go up and down when I'm flying, which most of the vehicles I found fly? How do you know how to play the game? <laughs> yeah, definitely take after Monster Hunter and Legend of Zelda and just show us the controls on the screen. Especially since the controls can be different, might be different for every vehicle or something. I don't know. It's also interesting that you just you so you shoot for a bit and you can't tell if you're really hurting the enemy that well, and then then in order to reload at all, period, you need to have more energy things, and if you don't have them, then you just can't shoot? So I guess the, that one guy wasn't shooting back at me at the beginning in the previous video, probably because he couldn't find ammo at first and was just avoiding my shots and letting me waste my shots, perhaps? I don't know. This is weird. It's weird and rough around the edges, and maybe it could be good one day, but I don't know if it will have the player base to make it there. Because I like some of the idea. In fact, I like... I enjoyed the idea of it set up more than I enjoyed my stint of playing Robocraft a little bit with friends before. So I think it has potential, but it also needs to run better, by the way. There's some huge frame drops going on there, possibly because of how modular the designs of the, cre of the robots are. I don't know. We'll see where this is six months from now and see if it's even a game anymore, or if it's taken off, or if it's been turned around by going free to play. I don't know. See you guys next time. Link in the description like usual.